welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be making something I actually thought of myself. I call it sweet avocado for red bites. And now I'm calling a bread molding with a gorgeous and creamy avocado filling. Oh, we're gonna blend mixture, but we gotta keep it as simple as possible. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna take regular slices of bread and then we're just gonna wrap it around a nice clump of avocado. Yes, let's do this! And get excited, because there's going to be some amazing songs scattered throughout the entire video. You definitely don't want to miss those! Let's look at our ingredients. Whoop! What's up? I'm back. So, the ingredients you will need for the sweet avocado bread bites are as follows. Ingredients, the components of our recipe. Measurements for certain microscopy. Blend the bed, a coating of warmth in your avocado. That creamy bit of norm. Spice, the spice, the flavor of our touch. A bundle of mixture, blooming throughout the time. Let's begin. Oh, we have my bowl. We're gonna take this avocado. We're gonna slice it. Just make a good slice. And we open it. It's beautiful. Take our spoon and just scoop some on out. And stack the spoon. Okay. Must clean the avocado. Now we will dispose of this. Probably should have mentioned, you've lost me to fork. So we got our avocado in the bowl. And we're gonna start mashing. Let me it. Splitting all that scientific inquiry. When day break rises, it's diary from the silence they shall taste. La 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 Well, the center is stuck, but at least the progress is growing. Now that we have our beautiful sweet avocado bread bites filling, it's a working title. We're gonna put it in the fridge, and we're gonna work on our bread. Our exterior bread ball surface. Yeah, another working title. And I come back to you now with a plate. No, no, no. Go ahead and open up your bread. Roughly two slices for right now, just to experiment. I remember when I used to go to a panetta bread, I always used to take the bread and I used to make little balls. Just roll them up and then dip them in the soup. I didn't like breaking them into tiny pieces. It just had to be broken up in a different way. So for this, you're going to remove the crust. The crusts are kind of hard. So next up, you want to kind of mash the bread. Pound it, like so. Squishy daddy, squishy daddy, if you want to learn. Now that you have this flatty pancake thingy, you can easily stick some guacamole in the center and roll it on up. The crest, the crest, the crest. Who actually eats the crust of bread anyway? The crusty part. Dun, dun, dun. The crusty crab. Is the crust as crusty as crusty crab? So we got two flattened pancakes. La, 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 la. They're just like flappy stuff. They look like tortillas. But they're able to be molded. Which is why we're not using tortillas for this. Let's go ahead and dispose of our crusts. And let's get stuff in. Whoop, whoop. I return with my sweet, sweet bread bite avocado mix. Let's go ahead and see how this will look. It's when you spread the avocado, the world says why. I love to be a pretend tavern tool. Oh, so satisfying. I'm just gonna put this nice clump in the middle. I guess you can just put in your hand and just whoosh. Mold it in place there. Kind of pinch the bread together. I think I put too much in there. It's a work in progress. We're gonna wrap it twice. Mash it on. What makes bread stick? Water. It's actually pretty good. It's a bread bowl. I see strong enthusiasm for this. All right, let's make more. When time goes by and the numbers lie, layered in the noise, two slices of bread. Kind of boring, yeah, but oh well. We can take a time to impress the dent. Water helps us smooth and eventually masters you. made a face. It was very unintentional, but we have the two eyes and a mouth. It looks like lips. Green lips. Oh, he's too ugly for me. Let's see what it looks like. From no, the inside. Look at that. Now time to squash it all back together. Avocado. We need some dramatic music. Avocado, avocado, it's a work of art. Avocado, avocado, spicy, sweet, galore. And day turns hot. Mash up the greens and you'll get some frosting. Oh well, it's green frosting, but still red. You fold it on over, make a new beginning. So, not the cleanest cut I expected. But anyway, it is absolutely gorgeous. And personally, I really like them. But, you know, we're not done yet. Give me a try. For reals. It's time to change the recipe! <laughs> it's really strange to get all your recipes! <laughs> it's liquid, I forgot to shake it! Oh yeah! Okay! Whoa! Oh, wow! Gum, 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 gum
So, wow, that is very crooked. But you gotta just... So, we've discovered the secret ingredient to today's recipe. Mustard. Avocado. Bread. Mustard balls. I hope balls. you like them. You don't have to add mustard. Nyeh. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. I think, I think, nyeh, one mystery ingredient is enough for today. But, you know, I still yeah, haven't been able to make some that are. You silly mustard, Not you destroyed my mustard. beautiful thing, even though I put you on there. Anywho, I hope you like this recipe. I think it's pretty unique. I've never seen it before. It's kind of like a ripoff of avocado toast. It's a very common thing people in California have. I'm not in California. So, I think it's kind of nice. But it's still popular. You can bring the bread bite with you, so Put you don't have to make a mess with the avocado. avocado. And it loses its messiness. I can so smell I think mustard. it's time to conclude this video. I hope you if enjoyed you did, Please remember to give a like to this video. And subscribe if you want the some thinking more. cap of me. No. I just blew your mind.